backyard and Mrs. Smith here with you today. I'm so excited that we get to come together again, you and I, and we're coming to Jesus. We're coming to his word. We're going to read another story, great story that he tells us in the Bible. Last couple of weeks, we have talked about two boys in the Bible. We talked about Moses as a little baby, and then we talked about Jesus as a little baby. But this week, let's give the girls a turn. In fact, maybe the next couple of weeks, we'll give the girls a turn. Everybody's important to Jesus. Today's passage of scripture is going to be found in Luke chapter 8 and verse 40 is where we're going to start. That's in the New Testament. That's in the back of our Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we're Luke chapter 8. But let's just say the Lord's Prayer together today and ask God to help us understand what we're reading, all right? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Would you give us today our daily bread? And forgive us our trespasses, as we also forgive those who trespass against us. And don't let us be led into temptation, Lord, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, as I say, our story today is about a little girl. And in my Bible, it says Jesus heals a woman and Jairus' daughter. We're going to talk about Jairus' daughter. So let's see. This is the daddy. This is Jairus. And here is Jairus' daughter. Here she is. Oh, what do you notice about her? She's actually lying down, isn't she? She's got such a wonderful daddy. She's not feeling well in this story. But her daddy is going to take care of her. He's going he's gonna to help her. Because that's what our parents, you know, are put here to do, to take care of us. God did it that way so that we would be cared for when we come into the world as babies and little ones. Let's start at verse 40. Now, when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And there came a man named Jairus, who was a ruler of the synagogue. And falling at Jesus' feet, he said to him, come to my house. For he had an only daughter about 12 years old and she was dying. Oh no. So what do we know about Jairus' daughter? She was not well. She was, in her dad's words, she was dying. And where did Jairus go to get help? He'd heard about Jesus, that Jesus was helping people all over. So he's going to come to Jesus and ask him, save my daughter. That's very, very good. Would you say that's what God wants us to do? Yes. Oh, let's just thank God right now for our moms and dads who bring us to Jesus all the time when they pray to God. Are you ready? Heavenly Father, thank you for our moms and dads who love you and who love us and who bring us to you. Maybe they pray to you about us and they say, help my son and my daughter, help us because we need your help. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, little aside. Now, as the story goes on, as Jesus went, the people were pressing in around him and something happens. There was a woman there who was sick and she saw Jesus too and she was pressing in to touch Jesus. That's from verses um, 42 to uh, 48. We read that there was a woman in the crowd who also needed Jesus healing. She was pressing into the crowd and she touched Jesus and guess what happened? She got healed. She was sick. When she went there, when she touched his robe, she got healed. This was happening wherever Jesus went. He was healing people. Verse 49 says, while he was still speaking to her, to this lady who he had healed, someone from Jairus' household, a servant, this guy right here, he came running to Jairus and he said, your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher anymore. Oh no. What happened to Jairus' daughter? She was 12 and what happened to her? She 
die. But Jesus, on hearing this, the servant was talking to Jairus, but Jesus, of course, heard what the servant was saying to Jairus. So Jesus said, do not fear, only believe, and she will be well. And when he came to the house, he allowed no one to enter with him except Peter and John and James. Those were three of his disciples, Peter, John, and James. He also allowed the father and the mother of the child to go in with him to see the little girl. And there were all kinds of people there weeping and mourning for her. But Jesus said, do not weep, for she's not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. Wow. But taking her by the hand, he called saying, child, child, arise child arise and her spirit returned and she got up at once wow she alive again she was and jesus directed that something should be given to her to eat and her parents were amazed did you hear what happened to her when she was lying there dead i guess her spirit had gone away from her body. That tells us something very interesting. When a person dies, their body is left, but their spirit is still alive and goes somewhere. Wow, that's something maybe we needed to know. Jairus was an awesome dad. He would have done anything to help his daughter and he knew that Jesus was the answer. But how do you think Jairus felt when he found out from his servant that his daughter had actually passed away. The first reaction would have been, oh no, it's too late. And what did Jesus say to him in that moment when he was about to lose hope? Did Jesus walk away from him and leave him and say, oh, it's too late? Actually, it's so interesting. Jesus stayed with him. Jesus didn't leave the dad. He gave him this instruction and it was really hopeful. Jesus said to the dad, don't be afraid, believe, just believe. Believe in who? Believe in Jesus, just believe, believe in me. I can do anything, nothing is impossible with me, Jesus is saying, just believe in me and she will be well. Oh boy, can I see Jairus looking at Jesus and saying, I want to believe, help me believe, help me to keep my eyes on you. Jesus, help me believe. And then going with Jesus. And Jesus did an amazing miracle in the life of Jairus' daughter. She didn't die. She lived. Who knows how old Jairus' daughter lived to be. But she had an amazing story to tell others that Jesus can do anything. Put your faith and your belief in Jesus. I'm so glad that little girl's father went to Jesus that day, aren't you? It could have ended so differently. But instead we have this amazing story another amazing story of a little girl this time whose parents really loved her as all our parents really do don't they i'm a mom do you know that i have to bring my children to jesus every day yes it's my job jesus you are amazing and you can do anything hey god bless you today Think about this story, talk to God about this story, read it again and again. And then remember it's in Luke chapter 8, verse 40 is where it starts. So have a good day and enjoy Jesus. Bye for now.